What is this? A glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. or what he's doing there. So keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move. Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se magne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who Shay is after. Franklin traveled to England and France, and that guy said Notre-Dame. Shay must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. cette fois Shit What happened That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. Excellent. 
I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. But please reflect on what we have discussed. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. I've added the location to the next server on your map. Get going. Shit! I forgot. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great! Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You're all right. Elena! Calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Elena's cystic fibrosis. How is that working out for you? Arkele! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? <laughs> this pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? Now! Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. Great job, Nascal. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here. Double time. It looks like restoring servers also clears the virus of some of the other systems. You are making excellent progress. I am eager to see what Shay will show us next. Level 1 clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building as well. If you need to stretch your legs in between animus sessions.
Like Haytham Kenway, Daniel Cross came from an assassin bloodline, as the Orlov family had at least two generations who served the Brotherhood. Daniel Cross's history of drug addiction and animus-induced psychosis should not take away from his many accomplishments for the Templar cause. Under the influence of Warren Vidic, he was planted into the Brotherhood and earned their trust, eventually meeting their reclusive mentor. Then his subliminal programming activated, and he killed the mentor, triggering the first great purge of the modern age. Al Mualim, Haras, Vali Sel Tradat, Baptiste, Duncan Walpole, Haytham Kenway, Lucy Stillman, Daniel Cross. These are but a few prominent examples of something I've always felt. That there will always be assassins who are willing to abandon their cause to serve ours. Yet there is no one who embodies this idea better than Sheikh Cormac. And I want the assassins to confront this painful reality. Do you care to explain what happened in Paris? Gavin Banks led a team of assassins to your laboratory and destroyed it. That lab was supposed to be completely off the grid. How did they find it? Banks is a known associate of Sean Hastings and Rebecca Crane, who have infiltrated Abstergo before. He is also not your typical assassin brawler. He follows information. They found a way to access your Helix servers. Nothing is off the grid anymore. That facility was dedicated to studying the sage we recovered from Montreal last year. If you had informed me of its existence, Sigma team could have protected your interests. Did you engage Banks' team? Sorkin and I tracked them from Paris to La Rochelle, where their ship was waiting for them. We fought, but we were outnumbered. Sorkin was stabbed seven times by an assassin we have identified as Galina Voronina. And you let them get away? Let's be very clear. I was trained to hunt and kill assassins. It was you who disbanded my team and sent me on a fool's errand across the surface of the Earth. I warned you this would happen. You know what? I can admit when I'm wrong. You have my permission to reform Sigma team. I need DaCosta back. Impossible. She's still in Montreal. Unacceptable. I've apologized for my oversight, Berg, but don't push me. The fact is, we need to find new sages. Alvero Grammatica tells me that Melanie LeMay has a few promising leads in Montreal. When will DaCosta be finished? She's ahead of schedule on security upgrades and firewalls, but Helix is a target for assassins, erudito, and the first civilization consciousness. So, there have been some setbacks. Is the building physically secure? There's security on site. Send me that. Oh? I thought you were too good to be wasted on such trivial matters. I wanted DaCosta back on my team, and if that building is a target, I need to make sure she's looked after. I will also improve their security in my own way. Very well, I'll start preparing the necessary documents. Like DaCosta, you'll be a consultant from Abstergo Industries, there to help bring them up to speed on some new policies. In the meantime, send some extra agents to Paris. I suspect there may still be assassins lurking there.
Nathan Kenway remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite, charged with finding a precursor site. Haytham was cunning and ruthless, but he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. He lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Haytham eventually learned that his father Edward had been an assassin, that he chose to stay a Templar rather than follow in his father's footsteps, indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy. Hey, boss. Calling from Germany? Yes. I am in Essen, searching for an artifact called the Ankh of Isis. Can you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. Okay. Not much. There's an obscure file from the data dump scanner that mentions it. It was allegedly 14th century Germany, where an assassin named... Lucas Zergberg fought a Templar offshoot called the Brothers of the Cross. <laughs> How original. That's the file that led me to this bland shit pile. Is there anything else? Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history. From Roman Gallia, Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh, and it apparently raises the dead. Is there any evidence to support this? None at all. You know what I think? I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around so that people like us waste our valuable time sniffing after it. Smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. I'm going to excavate the observatory. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come.
Good to see you're feeling better. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Finnegan, was it? Sweet Mother Mary. Have we taken in the village idiot? Barry! Remember, Shay, I'm Cassidy, and this is... Barry! <laughs> You've been ill for weeks. I, I hate to have been a burden. See? He's a civilized fella. Aye, for a clumsy deckhand. Probably fell off his ship half drunk. Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. <laughs> and don't come back! Thank you, Shay. In the younger days... I could have taken them, one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. <gasps> Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. The manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building.
Help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. Oh, so? He cared. He wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival was not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern. Master Cormac. I merely assist. Let it be known that Morgan Thomas has been found guilty of buggery with a cow, a sheep, a turkey, and a mare. For his See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I've arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. What fine work! The neighborhood would be much better now. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. The Colonel strikes me as an honorable man. Someone who wants to do what's right. 
that he may have a point. With everything that has happened. With what I've done. Shay, Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might... have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please, tell Master Gist to join me there. Do you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the Old Fort. Oh! It would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> Maybe there's a future for me here. And maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans and let them know I'm fine. Stop! Let find Christopher Guest, I'm Shea Cormac. But what are you doing here? Don't mind the asking. The Colonel sent me. Aha! Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own den. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. It's the Morgan. What is Shay doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. 
Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. Tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave both okay. She's a fine ship, and true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. I'll come aboard. As your first mate, 
May I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid! What a business, that. at the helm. A trip to the Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just We're wanted to check land, in with sir. Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Not at all, Shay. But I admire the Colonel's ideas and want to make them happen. What kind of ideas? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, we'll see. Full sail ahead, lads! Drop anchor! Good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. Tis a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. 
Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby I happen to know. I like the sound of that. What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonists. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. It's always the little fella who gets skinned. Colonel, you and Gist here seem inspired. Is there something in the water, or in the whiskey? Now why do you say that, Master Cormac? There is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Says you. I think it's a fine Get end to a game of out. cards. Away, anchor! Soyez alerte. On ne sait pas ce qui peut nous tomber dessus. Bon, allez, maniez-vous un peu. Je sais que vous vous emmerdez. <coughs>
Tranquille, Paris. Good show, Shay. Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will need more powerful guns. Fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan. Captain has the helm! Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our night times. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in like a wounded bear. There's our target! Knock her down like a game of nine pins! Begin by hitting her towers. As the colonel says! Master! Ah! Shot through her there. 
not but air. Ease off the wind. All in all, sand. We must take care. These waters are well guarded, sir. Fire! It's free!
Chasseur? Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. Just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift.
Le Chasseur was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. While you were busy taking down that fort, I happened to stumble upon the treasury. You don't say. It was the damnedest thing. <clears throat> uh, well, in, in any case, amongst... Master Cormac. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you.
It is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing, then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Uh, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Use these grenades to destroy that door. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. Right here. That's my first target.
this, you fool. Stop this, you fool. Must get out, or I'm as good as dead. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is, uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on, uh, the Colonel, huh? <laughs> Is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. 
We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. On your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations! We raise anchor! I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh. Oh. I knew that ages ago, Jim. I may be drunk, but I... Homicidal circus. Why didn't you say anything? The Colonel wanted us to avoid this subject so it wouldn't get influence. You saved my life out of pure selfishness and helped countless others besides. But if it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. Who is it up to then? Monroe mentioned a Grand Master. Oh, yes. The Grand Master of the Colonial Right. You'd like to show his father was a Really? What is the news from Fort William Henry? The garrison is surrounded, and reinforcements are late. General Montcalm has been blazing a path across the colonies for King Louis, hasn't he? I rather wish he'd stayed home with his mistress. His or King Louis? Either. Though I suspect the king's a spider. Indeed. Madame O'Murphy is supposed to be quite the charm. And O'Murphy is in the French king's bed. Now I know you're coming. Jay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncal. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. 
Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late. the last of them. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, would you say? Perhaps. Take out as many as I can. And moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. I will lead my men around the slope.
got a good line on him. We lost sight of him. We have to find him again. will not relent. Kasegawasi. You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin, as I was. So they know I am Temple. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. Let us hear you Satisfaction of slipping away! Find him again! <sighs> you die! You can't escape us! Wait! Come, follow me! Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Chain! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's trading post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there.
Waters are well guarded, sir. Fire! Grapple's ah, ready, Captain. Captain. Just say the word. Fire! That's got them, Captain. Fire. Good shot, That's got them.
So, Colonel, it seems my life is an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel. The manuscript. Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir. I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kisigawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. Break an egg, then it won't be so funny. Yeah. Johnson stockpiled powder and shot here. Bless him. Captain's at the hill! Sir, well, not to pry, but would you happen to know if Kesegawase has any weaknesses? He hasn't any. He was a scout and mercenary long before he joined the assassins. May Lady Luck be with you, then. I make my own luck. The Colonel exerts a certain amount of control over the army, or part of it anyway. But we'll need both the soldiers and their native allies if we're to set up a proper defense against Keisei Goase. in that case.
double straight. Venerable one, my name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I, I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. It tells of how the land under our feet was born and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people, and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be... You honor me, venerable one. It is you who honor us, Shay Patrick Cormac. Farewell. Masters were. So I told the Frenchman, hey, it's a pity we have not gotten paid in so long. When he found my dagger protruding through his tunic, so I told the Frenchman, I fucked your sister in New York. You should have seen his face go red. Then I killed him. Leave. Oh. 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 
ships hasten for the event. Around about the rise around the horn. Well, it seems there was a... Damn the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the Captain, lads! Make haste! Let out some sail! Come on! Spread those sheets! As much sail as you can! Dark skies and rough seas there! Haul in the stunts! Get those clues up! Haul down! Haul down! Keep her safe while I'm gone, Gist. Aye, Captain. This is Kasegawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Kasegawase. Believe you can best be a traitor. 
Traitor! Isigawase. It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? This body dies. was heading for the dock. A huge man with an axe was chasing the colonel. The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam. I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death? 
Whatever the cost, I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us.